welcome to another video. In this video, we're going to look at how to create this simple lower third. This is the first of many videos to come on how to create simple lower third or motion title in only video editor. Let's begin by creating a sequence. Right click in the project window, new and sequence. In this example, we need two solid clip and two title clip. Let's add the title clips. Come to the add tool here, add title and drag it on the timeline. Select the title, go to the edit properties here and change the text. Select the text, change the font to 60 and change the thickness to extra bold. Change the color if you want to and click OK and OK. So this is the first text and let's add another text. Come to add tool, title and drag it on the timeline. Select the text, go to the edit properties and change the text. Select the text, change the font size to 50 and click OK. In the transform properties in the position, in the Y value, click and drag the text below the first text. Now it's time to add a solid clip. So come to add solid and then drag it on the timeline. Select the solid, go to the uniform scale under the transform, uncheck the checker. And in the scale, in the X value, change to 1. And in the Y value, change to 20. This will be our little line. In the position in the X value, drag the line somewhere here. Let's decrease the height of the track by holding down Ctrl and minus. Now let's add the final solid clip. Come to the add tool and solid and drag it on the timeline. Let's align our little line here with the text. So select the first text here in the position X value. Click and drag it somewhere here. Select the second text. In the X value of the position, click and drag it somewhere here and select the solid and drag it somewhere here. In the Y value, drag it down here so that it will be in the center. Now that we have the text and the line in place, let's add the final solid. So come to add and solid and drag it on the timeline. Go to the transform tool in the position in the X value, click and drag it all the way to somewhere here. So in our example, our text flies out here and flies back in again. So let's select this solid, which is the last solid we add, and select, change the color if you want to, click OK, and in the opacity, change to 50. The reason we change to opacity to 50 so that we can see the text once we drag the text behind this solid. So now it's time for the animation. So let's begin with this little line here. So select that clip. In the position X value, click and drag it all the way in here behind this green solid color here. Now keyframe the position and keyframe the rotation. Move the marker somewhere here. And in the X value, drag the little line out towards the two text. And in the rotation, type in 720. And this is how it looks like now for the little line. Now we want our little line to rest and then the text to fly out. So let's move our marker somewhere here. And select our first text, drag it all the way behind the green solid, keyframe position, move the marker somewhere here, and drag the text back into view. We want our second text to fly out when the first text is resting. So let's move our marker somewhere here, select the second text, from the X value drag it into behind the solid green, keyframe it, move somewhere here, and drag it out again. And we want the text to be fast when they come out and slows down. So right click on the last keyframe, right click and select base here. Do the same for the other text as well. So now this is how our animation is going to look like. The next step is the outro. So let's select with the first text, keyframe it, move it somewhere here and drag it into hiding. Make sure to change this one back into linear, the last keyframe and select the second text, keyframe it. Let's make room here first, move it up somewhere here and drag it into heading position, change this back to linear and select the solid, keyframe the position, keyframe the rotation, move it somewhere here, drag it back into heading and change the rotation back to zero. Let's play the animation. So again, we can select the last keyframe here for the position, change to Beja and change this one to Beja, the same as this one and this one. Now that we are done with our animation, let's select the last solid color, which is the green one, and change the opacity back to 100, and change the color to black. 
click OK. So our final animation will look like this. So you can either use a black background or if you want to use a video with a background, let's go to the next step. So the next step is to select all this clip and nest them. So hold on Ctrl A to select them or you can just click and select all the clip. Right click and nest. Now when we are nesting it, you can see that it only have one transform tool now and you can move this text in whichever position you want on the sequence viewer. Now since we don't have any audio attached to this clip, let's select the nested clip. Hold on Ctrl L to unlink it, select the audio clip and delete it. Now that we have saved our project, let's import a video clip. We'll go to where you save your video, import it and drag it onto the timeline. Next, we'll put a video clip under nested sequence. So when we do that, you can see that we have this black solid which is inside the nested sequence. So how do we remove this black solid? Select the nested sequence, go to the add effect tool here king and loom key using the luma key helps to remove the foreground image so when we apply the luma key it's also fading the x and the little line here so how do we fix that select the sequence again go to the properties of the luma key and in the upper limit change to zero and there we fix our text and the solid again so here is how our animation will look like Since we have nested our sequence, it makes it easy for us to move the text to whatever position we want. Since it is a lower tab, we want to move it down right somewhere here and move it a bit back. And now we can play our animation again. That's all for this video and thank you for watching. If you are new to this channel, please do consider subscribe and hit the bell icon so that when we upload new videos, you will be first to be notified. And again, thank you to all those who have subscribed to our channel.